Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Uh, today, I'm using a gel plate and a very, very fancy pattern making tool. I mean, after all, only the best for us when we're playing around, right? Now, where did I get this fancy tool and where can you get one? Well, it came from the trash. Yeah, it's one of those fancy kinds of things. Because all around you right now, there are some incredible patterns just waiting to become a gel print. In today's video, you're gonna see how that piece of trash became something that looks kind of like an old world map to me. I like to take the easy way on things and a gel plate is one of those ways that it just makes things so easy. I'm gonna put four different colors of blue on here and I'm mixing the kind of paint, the type of paint, the brand of paint, I don't care. It's all acrylic paint and it will all work well on here. Like one of these is a plaza brand, so it's like a house brand, so it's an inexpensive paint. Some of them are heavy body, some of them are deco art paint. Um, I mean, I've just got a whole variety of types of paints on here. And guess what? They're all acrylic paint and they're all gonna play really nicely together. Then all you do is simply roll that paint around, cover up your plate as much as you want to, I'm feeling like going edge to edge here today, and then you're ready to bring in a pattern making tool. I've got one of my fanciest pattern making tools to use here on this print. It's this. This is actually trash, and it is from pulling little plastic letters apart. Actually, for the signboard that's back there, these were the more letters for it. And this was the leftover, the waste, the trash, and it's gonna make a fun, amazing pattern. You see, there are things all around you that you may not even realize how they can be used as a gel print tool, how they can make patterns for you. All the different things right now, already in your home, right there for you to use. So I'm gonna take that very fancy tool and I'm gonna start putting it in the paint. And that's what's gonna create the pattern that's gonna become the gel print. Now you can put something in there once or you can do it multiple times. And that's really the cool thing about gel printing is you have the freedom to do it whichever way makes you happiest whichever way gives you the results that you like in your prints. When I'm playing around with patterns like this, what I'm doing isn't random. There are actually three big things that I look at, that I pay attention to, that I kind of keep an eye on, because that's the stuff that helps me decide what I need to do so that I can get the look that I want in the print. So what are those three things that once you understand them, it really takes the guesswork out of making gel prints when you're playing with patterns? Oh, there's not enough time in one video for me to really go in depth on those three things and fully explain them so that you not only understand them, but they're easy for you to apply when you're making gel prints. So I've put it all together in my latest online workshop called Playing with Found Patterns. You can find all the details and information about that over on the website at acolorfuljourney.com. And yeah, there'll be a link down below for you too. Now that the pattern's all on there, it's time to take this print. I'm gonna put a piece of paper on here, and by the way, just about any paper will work. I happen to be using a cardstock here, but you can use anything that you're comfortable with. And then I'm gonna lift it up to see what beautiful blue lines we've got under there. Now, as much as I like that print, it's this one that I really want. I love the ghost prints. And this one, I can already tell by looking at the plate, it is gonna make me so happy when I see it. This print makes me think of a kind of abstract old world kind of map. And it's just so fun to me that it came from a piece of trash. So take a look around you right now because I'll bet there are some amazing patterns just waiting for you. And once you've gathered up your patterns, if you're looking for ideas of how to use them, if you're looking to understand what's going on with the plate when you're using them, then check out my online workshop called Playing With Found Patterns. You can find all the details over at acolorfuljourney.com. Thanks for joining me for today's play and thank you for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.